The math I use is basic addition and subtraction. We have a little division in there, but the most important part is you need to know how many packages are coming in. So that's the basic one, two, three. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, that's going to take up the bulk of what we're doing. You're, you're looking at revenue minus your expenses to come up with a number and say, hey, this is a good decision or a bad decision. Um, you know, how many barges do I have in a certain location versus how many barges do I have in another location to see where the level of importance is in each of those areas. Um, you're also looking at, at rates being uh, market values, which can sound complex, but really, it's, you know, which one's higher, uh, whichever one's higher is probably where people are trying to sell. Um, so just knowing those things and knowing uh, your basic numbers really plays a big factor in what we do every day. I do use a lot of basic math in my everyday work. Typically with item counts and when a customer sends over a request for a certain amount of an item, say a case of a product has 18 pieces in it. Typically we do ship just by the entire box, which is the full 18 pieces. But if they do send over a request for say only 10 pieces or only six pieces, we do need to be able to do the basic math to change the order to those numbers. So if a customer sends over an order requesting 100 of an item and they send over another request afterwards saying we only need a fourth of that product, you need to have basic division skills to know that the correct answer would be 25 out of that 100 to make sure that the order is correct. When we come in at 7, they tell us how many units we have to go through on the bots or orders. My job when the truck comes in is to make sure that we get all the packages off the truck and keep track of them. It's just multiplication, say you have six boxes and there's 18 items in each box. Use six times 18, write the number on top, and move on to the next pallet. 